Conjugating verbs is a painful task Keeping track of cases is a lot to ask Russian grammar may not be any fun But Ruskiad gets the job done Ruski Ed here with a lesson that further complicates the world of Russian nouns for you. What we will do in this lesson is take a look at five masculine nouns and look at the declension of each case by case in the singular and the plural forms. Actually, you will need to consult the online lesson for all the details. First, we look at the declension of stol. In the nominative, we have stol and stoli for singular and plural forms. In the accusative case, we have stole and stoli again. In the genitive case, we have stola and stolav. Dative, we have stolu and stolam. Instrumental, we have stolam and stolami. And prepositional, we have stolie and stolach. Next, we take a look at my cheek. In the nominative, we have my cheek and my cheeky. Accusative, my chica and my chikav. Genitive is the same with my chica and my chikav again. Dative, we have my chiku and my chikam. Instrumental, it's my chikam and my chikami. And prepositional, we have my chike and my chikach. In the online lesson, you can take a look at the declensions for lace, brat, and karandash. We won't belabor the point here by going through each one case by case. It is now time to move on to our sample sentences. Mui pishem karandashami means we write with pencils. On brosil stol izakna means he threw the table out the window. Daiti eta mayemo bratu means give this to my brother. Mui nashli shlapu machika means we found a boy's hat. Mui videli petits flesu means we saw the birds in the forest. And that's it for this lesson. Ruskiad signing off. Das vidanya. Ruskiad gets the job done.